I cross post rescue alerts from all parts of the country to all parts of the country, trying to help save animals about to be killed, animals on death row, who face death in shelters because of the lack of space. Much of my work involves New York City animals, where I try very hard and cry very hard every night as my heart breaks as I see these rescue alerts with the pictures of dogs and cats who have only a few hours left to live in some place, pleading for their lives, wanting to live, healthy adoptable animals who will in fact be killed. Let me start by saying that to kill healthy animals, to give them untimely deaths, to violate the basic right to their life is the highest form of animal cruelty. And yet we do it regularly and massively. It is a shameful problem in our whole country where compared to other industrialized countries, many of whom do not seek this solution to the problem of homeless animals, our solution by default is to kill. If we have no space, we kill. And this is wrong. It is a major problem in New York City where, <coughs> where the situation for animals is terrible now. They find themselves homeless and about to die. This is especially true at this time for cats and pit bulls. Entering the New York City shelter system have almost no chance of leaving it alive. Whether or not the numbers killed by animal care and control are in fact getting better, as is claimed, although there is great dispute about their statistics. We have a crisis nevertheless, because no thousands of animals should be killed, even if it's a smaller number of thousands, and no hundreds should be killed, and not even one single animal should be killed for lack of space. It's immoral and wrong. What must be done? Many things. First, there must be a shelter system run by people from the board of directors and the executive director on down with sheltering experience. Yes. Number two, we need full service shelters in every borough as is mandated by law. The city is currently breaking its own law which mandated full service shelters in every borough by 2002, then amended to 2006. It's now 2009. Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Staten Island are the only boroughs that have shelters. They are not open 24 hours a day, as is also mandated by law. Bronx and Queens have no shelters. There is currently a lawsuit in process in the courts trying to compel New York City to comply with this law, because if there are more shelters as they're supposed to be, there will be fewer animals needing to be killed for reasons of space. Number three, we need rescuers and rescue groups not to be banned, who are willing to help animals and save them by the hundreds. This is also immoral. And number four, we need the culture of secrecy at ACC to be broken, and that's why council member Avello's efforts and freedom of information requests are major, including the kill lists have to be made public. They are kept yes. secret. Yes. They have yes. to be made public yes. with yeah. pictures. With pictures. The yeah. city should be complying with and working with Dogs in Danger, who works with many municipalities to list the animals on death row and help them get saved. And New York City is not doing that. It should. It should have a website where the public could see pictures of the animals and help posters in the subways, in the buses, people will want to help. Yes. People will yes. save more yes. animals, and that's what must be done. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't happen again. Yeah. Yeah, animal care and control gets funding for the city. They should follow the law, and uh, we hope, we hope that they will abide by the freedom of information request that I have submitted. Their first response was less than, um, yeah. How, how can I put it? Tony, they only have three people working on our place now. How are they going to do it anyway? So, we followed up with an immediate letter saying that I expect the information to be forthcoming. I hope that it is. And then we'll be able to do a proper investigation as to what's really going on here. 
Um, people in this city care about their pets. You know, we talk about New York City being animal friendly. Well, let's make sure it's not just talk, that it is a reality. And I know some of you are very familiar with the legislation that I've introduced across the board, whether it's banning the carriage horse industry, yes. the pets in housing bill. Yes. All of these things need to be done. All of these bills need to be enacted. And we're here today to say to the city, as Elizabeth has, enough is enough. Yes. Yes. Um, any questions from the media? Seeing none, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to use this. And we're